Hey guys, Nicholas here, back to another video, and before I begin this video, um, please, uh, so, if you are new to this channel, please, please hit the subscribe button right here, and click the notification bell, uh, so that you won't have to miss any videos, of course, click the notification bell, when you subscribe, the notification bell will appear, and you click on it, so that you won't have to miss any videos. And the notification bell is for reminding of new videos that will be coming real soon. And um, if you guys want, if you guys want to see more videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course I'll see you in the next video. And um, before I begin, hold on, please subscribe to Supersonic and Mario Brothers, my other, my channel where basically I make plush videos. It's Mario and Sonic, where me and my brother makes Mario and Sonic plush videos. And we hit 24 subscribers on Supersonic and Mario Brothers. We'll be also getting new video ideas. And, um, yeah. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my third channel, the Supersonic Nico Movies. Um, you know, where I basically work on, uh, filming products now. I used to work filming products on, um, this channel right here. But now I get to work on uh, filming products here on this channel now. And I only upload only one video, but um, I'm working on a new video, and uh, here it is, of course, hold on, let me show you what it is, let me open, it is, um, a, it is a Ratchet and Clank shorts, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about, um, I've been working on it recently, and uh, I'm almost done with the short, I'm already done with scene one, and now I have to do, well, I have to do scene two now, and I'm I only have two scenes left to do. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. Well, both of these channels will be linked in the description down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hold on. Don't forget to subscribe to my brother's vlogging slash gaming channel, and he has hit 13 subscribers. So don't forget to. Uh, subscribe to my brother's channel. His channel will be in the description below. So I'll leave three of these channels in the description down below. So please subscribe to his channel. Thank you. Hello everyone, Nicholas here, back to another video, and today what I'll be doing is, I'll be doing a review on Ant-Man and the Wasp and Teen Titans Go! To the movies. <sighs> so, um, we're gonna be going on about these movies and see which one's the, which one is the best. Now, uh, without further ado, let's get started, and let's review Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, what can I say about Ant-Man and the Wasp? I really like this movie. I really like Ant-Man and the Wasp. And the characters were really likable. The story is amazing. It's like the best... I mean, it's the best movie along with Avengers Infinity War. And, um... Other, and along with Avengers Infinity War, uh, Black Panther, Ready Player One. And, um other stuff and of course Jurassic World and uh, Lost or Fallen Kingdom sorry I, I get confused with Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World but anyways with Fallen Kingdom and Lost World but anyways uh, overall I'm into the Wasp it's really good the story is amazing and it, 
as good as the first Ant-Man movie, which is really great, and I really love the first Ant-Man movie. The second Ant-Man movie, which is Ant-Man and the Wasp, by the way, Ant-Man and the Wasp, on the other hand, it, it's really great. It, it, had, it had great actors, and it, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Although, my favorite movie of 2018 is actually Avengers Infinity War, because Avengers Infinity War, I was really hyped up when uh, people showed it, although I'm going to be really hyped up really soon by watching uh, Venom and um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which I'm looking forward to see both these films doing great. I hope both these films do great. I hope that they're going to be doing great. I hope Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse uh, does great as Batman Mask of the Phantasm did. I mean, Batman Mask of the Phantasm... Uh, it was released in theaters, by the way. Oh, okay, we're getting off topic. We're gonna have to talk about that, uh, maybe in another video. But anyways, um, maybe not. But anyways, uh, like I said, these special effects were really good. The special effects were really great. The jokes were funny. I mean, the funny part was, like, where, uh, Luis drives, like, a, this Hot Meals type of car thing, which I really like, and it... It like shrunk into big size, which was really funny. And then, um, what else was really funny? Um, what else was really funny is actually, um, I can't, I can't remember. Oh, right. Uh, the aunt who was, uh, pretending to be Scott and that he had like the thing on his. I don't, I don't know what's that called, but he had like a thing, so, yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about the plot about Ant-Man and the Wasp. The plot is all about, well, it's on the tip of my tongue. The plot is all about uh, Ant-Man, uh, Ant-Man, uh, Ant-Man, who is trying to uh, stop both Ghost and these other guys uh, for getting like uh, getting particles from the quantum realm or whatever, whatever they are. And now it's up to Ant Man and the Wasp to stop both of them, both of these villains. And I gotta admit, the story was really great. The story, um, like I said, the story's great. The special effects are great. The jokes are great. And, um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. Aside from the characters, the, anyways, aside from the characters, the great plot, the great plot, great story, great, great lines, and, uh, the great special effects, it overall received, of course, it, it did really great. We have actors, we got Paul Rude, who represses his role as Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, and then we got the actress who played um, uh, Hope or Hope from uh, the first Ant-Man movie. Um, she reprises her role as Hope again, but this time she uh, is playing Wasp. And then we got uh, uh, and then we got Michael Pena as. Uh, Luis again. He represses as well as Luis. And he, Michael Pena, he was hilarious. I, I remember now that the jokes that were really funny is, um, Luis mentioning about the flashbacks. And it was, it was like hilarious. I, I was laughing. It was hilarious. It was hilarious how he mentioned the flashbacks. Um, Michael Pena did a really great job on playing Luis. He did a really funny job playing Luis in the original Ant Man, the first Ant Man movie. And, um, he did really good in the second movie as well. And the second movie, he was, and, I gotta admit, he was a great actor. He is a great actor, of course. And, um, what else? Then we got the other guy, which I don't remember. He plays the father, well, the adopted father, the, uh, father, not the not biological father, who is a father, who adopted this girl, uh, to take care of, to take care of her and to stain her particles because she, her name is Ghost, of course, and Ghost fades, 
she fades away. She fades away, and uh, she only has like two two weeks to live. I'm assuming, and that uh, she's almost dying and is almost fading away from existence. And um, at the end, Hope tries to Hope, Hope helps her by uh, using the power of the particles to uh, to to make herself feel again to touch and and yeah i did like the emotional scenes i did like the relation the relationship with uh scott and his daughter i mean they get along uh just like in the first movie they get along and um everything seems to be back to normal where that uh scott lang uh scott scott lang is uh, getting along, getting along again with his family, and including his daughter. And I, I did, I liked it. it I liked the part. It, it was, it was really great. I don't know what else to say about this movie. Overall, the movie was great. The characters were likable. The story was amazing. It was written well, played well. The soundtrack was awesome, and of course, many other stuff. And I did like the secret ending where that, um. Where that Hank Pym and uh, his wife and his daughter uh, both erased it from existence from Thanos' snap. Because, of course, it leads us to say that it's already been confirmed that Ant-Man and the Wasp is... Uh, ta it takes place during Avengers Infinity War. That is, why, that is why that he never showed up in the movie, of course. Hawkeye never showed up in the movie as well because he was also under house arrest. I don't know why, but... We'll see him again in Avengers 4. We'll see Ant-Man uh, again in Aven Avengers 4. And I hope that they bring back the dead characters. Even though that uh, Marvel mentioned that they're not going to bring back all these death characters. But I'm assuming that they're just hiding from it. But I hope that they bring it back though. Because after Avengers 4, the contracts for the original actors... Uh, from Phase 1 and 2, you know, Chris Evans who played Captain America, and uh, Robert Downey Jr. who played um, Iron Man, uh, Scarlett Johansson who played uh, Black Widow, and um, Mike Ruffalo who played Hulk in, in the MCU movies, minus the Hulk movie, and um, Chris Hemsworth. I'm not sure if Chris Hemsworth, but the original actors who played Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, uh, Hulk, and Thor, their contracts will be getting expired real soon because their movie deals with Marvel are about to come into an end and their contracts will about to get expired after Avengers Infinity War Part 2 or Avengers 4, of course. And yeah, overall, even the Wasp is really great. I gave it five stars. So now we're going to be talking about Teen Titans Go! To the movies. So, let's review Teen Titans Go to the movies. Teen Titans Go to the movies. Now, Teen Titans Go to the movies. Um, let's face it, I thought that this movie was going to suck. Everyone thought that this was going to suck because of the cartoon that's based around on Teen Titans Go. If you don't know, Teen Titans Go was a really controversial cartoon that aired on Cartoon Network. And a lot of people really hate it due to its lack of... Um, due to its lack of funny moments and a huge disrespect to the source material of the original Teen Titans. Yeah. But the movie, on the other hand, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, on the other hand, improves from the cartoon. It improves from Teen Titans Go. And, um, the story was great. Characters were actually kind of likable. And Slade, of course, the filmmakers mentioned that Teen Titans Go to the Movies is like Deadpool, but is only for kids. And... I am kind of agree and disagree on that. Um, okay, so let's get over the plot. The plot of the plot of this movie is basically all about that every superhero 
you every superhero if you name it from the DC universe uh, you know Superman Batman Wonder Woman and other kinds of heroes um, have been get have been getting their own movie except for the Teen Titans um, because you know uh, because you know the people hate the Teen Titans because they're goosters and you know always with and you know always with the jokes and uh, not doing any hero work yeah uh, that's the part of the whole movie the whole movie focuses on making fun of the show making fun of the criticism of the show and the writers of the show improved in improved from the show to the movie, Teen Titans Go to the movies. And I gotta admit, the writers did really great on this movie. Uh, the writers did really great. It was self-aware of um, how the show was like, uh, you know, how it get a lot of cri a lot of criticism, and um, how it ended up and stuff like that. And then it improved and takes itself so seriously, like the original Teen Titans. And um, at the end, the ending of the clip, well, at the end of the movie, we get a secret ending of the original Teen Titans saying, listen, we find, we know how to find a way back. And a lot of people were speculating if this was a joke or if this means that Warner Brothers is going to continue the original Teen Titans, if the original Teen Titans is going to get renewed for a sixth season because season five left with a cliffhanger. Now, anyways, um, Teen Titans go to the movies references, um, uh, uh, Marvel things, you know, they reference Gardens of the Galaxy, Deadpool, and Spider-Man, and, um, also they had Stan Lee for a cameo for some unknown reason, maybe they did a contract on Stan Lee, I mean, Stan Lee only does Marvel cameos, but he does also comic book cameos as well, and other kinds of cameos. And, uh, I, I really like Stan Lee's cameo. I mean, Stan Lee is such an amazing, great story, great story teller and artist. And, you know, he's known for creating Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Thor, and, uh, the Fantastic Four, and others in Marvel. He's the king of Marvel Comics, of course. But, anyway, the plot was amazing. And it ended up like the Lego Batman movie, other than the Emoji movie. And a lot of people thought that Teen Titans Go to the Movies was going to be this year's Emoji movie. But anyways, aside from that, aside from the great plot, the great story, the great soundtrack, and uh, other kinds of stuff, and great action, uh, great action choreography, you know, great fighting moments, and great special effects, and great animation... The animation looks nice, the drawing style is great, but uh, the drawing style can be a bit more cartoony or less. And I did like how they try different art styles. But anyways, this movie is great. I will rate this movie, I will rate this movie 5 stars. I thought that this movie was going to suck, but turns out it was really great. And I'm hoping that we get to see the original Teen Titans back. And I hope that... They will renew the original Teen Titans uh, for sixth season. Now, let's go see which is the best movie of the year. So, the best movie I'm going to choose uh, for this year is... Ant-Man the Wasp. And the reason why I choose Ant-Man and the Wasp is because it had a great story, had great characters. I know Teen Titans Go to the movies had a, a great story, but still, it's not the best movie of twenty of twenty eighteen. But hey, it's it's good, it, it's good. But Ammon and the Wasp is better, of course. Now, uh, I'm gonna be doing an update uh, right now about what is gonna happen in the near future, and uh, in the near future of this channel. I'll be still uh, showing you guys some more animation stuff, and uh, I'll be uh, doing a review on Young Justice. Yeah, Young Justice. I'll be watching Young Justice. I'll be doing a review on Young Justice. 
I'll be also getting Avengers Symphony War on Blu-ray and uh, other kinds of stuff. Yeah. But anyways, that that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say in this video. So, um, like I said, subscribe. Leave a like in this video, add a comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, so peace.